animatedanatomy.com. Now I will talk about the posterior compartment. Here is the triceps brachii that I just have mentioned. It has three heads. It has a long head, lateral head, and a medial head. It cannot be seen clearly here on this model. The long head has the origin on the scapula. The lateral head has the origin on the posterior humerus as well as the medial head has the origin on the posterior humerus. Here you can see only one head instead of two additional heads. The insertion of this muscle is the olecranon process of ulna. This process here is the olecranon process. The function of this muscle is to extend the forearm and the uh, adduction of the shoulder. So when this muscle contracts, of course, it's going to pull the ulna back and it's going to make the forearm extend. However, if you look at it from here, it's obvious that when it contracts, it's going to adduct the arm towards the body. And the last muscle on arm is the enconius muscle. It is a very small muscle here. It has the origin on the lateral epicondyle. The insertion is the olecranon process and the posterior and lateral surface of ulna. The function of this muscle partially uh, is blended in with the triceps, which it, extend, uh, it assists in extension of the forearm. It also serves to stabilize the elbow and to abduct the ulna during the pronation. Now I will talk about the muscles of the forearm here. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe or like my video.